hi guys you are on my channel Blize me more and for you today i have a video tutorial how to connect the legs to the body so they are so flexy in the previous video tutorial i showed you how to crochet a mini scrump version the head uh, well if you crochet it out of um, um, Annette Erickson jeans so then your scrump will be slightly bigger so um, I was making it with cotton gold and now I'm doing it with uh, cotton organic 100 so um, this yarn I found on Aliexpress I absolutely love this color this like turquoise or Tiffany blue and it's a uh, very soft cotton so um, I really like working with it and it's pretty much affordable uh, by the way if you still haven't purchased um, the pattern to this version of scrump the big one or mini one you can find the link under this video so in my shop applies me more on Etsy you can get scrum pattern either the big one or mini one with a, a discount if you use promo code scrum 20 scrum 20 will give you 20% discount on this PDF uh, pattern that you can download I love crochet uh, titties with this sort of legs uh, well because you can always uh, make it seated like lean against something and it will be sitting or it will be lying so you know it's kind of like uh, multitasking with such legs so uh, let's see how to connect them right as you can see I've crocheted the legs so they are all done and well stuffed I stuffed them like uh, super well because with this yarn um, scrum becomes slightly smaller which is not desirable I want it to, to be still of a good size so I generously stuffed it inside and as you see uh, the thread is cut so I finished two legs I added one um, single crochet stitch like the pattern says and now we place them to look at each other okay so they are placed like this so now the task is to attach a new thread from the skein of yarn well i preferred uh, taking it from the middle but i failed to find it so uh, it's not a big deal so i took the first leg which is the right one i uh, like fold it and with the hook the task is just we insert it through both halves okay and we are adding So this first stitch we don't count one more time in the same hole we are now crocheting our first single crochet stitch so this was our number one and now we continue so we do two three four five six seven eight nine as the pattern says after nine single crochet stitches we are going to increase so um we will crochet um two times in the same stitch um okay now we continue with chain of two one two um so now we are simply going to attach the second leg like in a mirror reflection but don't twist anything here okay so we have our chain of two and um again we insert like it's a bit like tentative more or less where you feel the middle is so we start with it uh, increase and we simply continue with nine
this is what we have so far so we have here nine single crochet um, stitches plus increase so it makes 11 plus two of chain and 11 here so we have a 24 in total like a chain of 24 at this stage don't worry about these ends I'll show you how to hide them later so our job now is to make a chain of one we're making it so we can uh, like level up to the next um, row or round and we have do you remember we have 24 chain but it is 48 uh, half loops you see so we have like okay front loop only back loop only so this is uh, front loop only here we are going to crochet single crochet stitches so this chain of two also has half loops well maybe we need to put some extra efforts and better to count how many um, stitches we have so um, everything is right and we just continue single crochet stitches well honestly this row is really tricky so you need to count uh, all the um, single crochet uh, you make so you have the exact number of stitches we need I have completed my first side with uh, 24 single crochet stitches now I, I turn my work and I continue you see we have these half loops here it's a bit more challenging to get them so if you want you can take a smaller hook if you wish well um, I will accept the challenge and I will just continue so here the problem can appear like plus minus one stitch I know that it's not desirable to lose one stitch or add one so that's why I will I look here I have two here I will count 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then 11 so my 11 um, starts here um, here is my first loop but because I want my work to be uh, beautiful I can just like start it from here and insert it in both halves to make it one stitch then I simply continue uh, crocheting but count your stitches so two three till the end of this side right I have finished um, 24 one side and 24 the other side so it's 48 and this is the end of my row I put my stitch marker okay and now we just crochet regularly uh, in circles or in spirals we don't need to um, start with the uh, chain no we just continue so um, and we continue by following the pattern we have increase seven increase seven till the end well I know that it's challenging to get this uh, first uh, stitch but you will manage so we start with increase and we simply continue following the pattern although it's amazing yarn well it's made like uh, out of 10 layers like 10 strings so um, you know um, it's sometimes hard to get them all and sometimes I need to undo my work so but this problem doesn't happen with this type of yarn okay or this one so this is like extra challenge i also feel like i got used to crochet like this so with my uh this middle finger of the left hand i'm holding this part from behind so um it exposes the front one and it's like easier i think it's important the way you hold it so um you need to have a really strong grip so um it's easier for you to do the job and uh, crochet your stitches higher you go I can say even from the next um, round it will be easier I have finished the second row and this one was with increase increase 7 increase 7 till the end so I have 54 uh, stitches in total and now following the pattern I need to crochet without changes five rows of 54 but because this yarn is slightly like a uh, thinner so I will make it to be six row I will add one extra row and then just following the pattern 
um, I have done three rows of 54 and now I can hide the ends inside the work so um, if you watched um, any of my other tutorials you know that I don't leave any um, thread without a knot so I'm taking the size number two and now I need to fish in the thread and pull it well now my job will be to make a knot with any um, half loop okay we do the same with all of them just in any random uh, place near the um, the end of the thread So you see you can just unfold it um it's easy at this stage so don't wait till um your work grows um much more find any suitable half loop that's it um i'll continue following the pattern and because um well it's also important to understand where is front where is back well this is back so your legs will be easier folding this way okay why it's important uh, even at this stage because well i always add the label to my work you see like oksan uh, my name is oksana oksan and here 100 handmade so at this stage i also um well maybe uh, after a few more rows i can sew the label it's easy you know to work with a needle make all the notes i need and this is my back thank you for watching this video tutorial if you found it useful don't forget to put like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so because i'm planning on more video tutorials for you bye bye guys